joining me and welcome to the Simon Says Stamp YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you the Nouveau Pure Sheen Glitter. This is a beautiful glitter that is from Tonic and this is part of their Nouveau line of a bunch of beautiful embellishment products. Tonic is known for their dyes, tools, and other products and now they have embellishments that they're adding to their line of product and you're going to be really excited to see these. Here I've got a selection of the different colors that they have as part of the Pure Sheen Glitter line. There is literally an entire rainbow of colors to choose from. These glitters have a beautiful top. I love that beautiful diamond that sits on top of the bottle. And you can see it has a nice wide opening so it's easy to pour the glitter in and out. You can see how delicate and fine that this glitter is. There is quite a bit in these bottles. These bottles are about 3.38 ounces and so you really get a lot of glitter that's going to last you a really long time with these Nouveau Pure Sheen glitter bottles. Now for applying this glitter, this can be applied with pretty much any type of wet adhesive or wet medium such as paste. So definitely keep that in mind that you don't need to have an exact type of glue or paste or anything to do the different techniques that we'll be doing today. Definitely check through your stash to see what you might have that will work for these techniques. Now there's a variety of ways you can use these glitters. I'm going to be showing you a few different techniques that you can use to get the most out of these glitters. But remember that there is literally a ton of things that you can do with loose glitter. So our first technique is going to be creating glitter die cuts. And you can see here the gorgeous effects of using different colors of the Pure Sheen glitter to create these really beautiful embellishments. So there's two different ways that are really easy that you can use to create glitter die cuts. The first is by using double stick adhesive sheets. So these are pieces of adhesive that have removable backings on each side so that way you can create a, basically a sticker. This particular brand is Score Tape. You can see the packaging here. There are other types of adhesive sheets that you can use as well, such as Stick It, Sukaneko makes some, Be Creative, Ranger. There is literally a bunch to choose from. So I'm using this one in particular, but again, remember that there are others that you can choose as well. So what I want to do is I want to die cut these snowflakes, which are from Penny Black, and I'm going to be die cutting them from white cardstock that has the adhesive sticker sheet on top of the cardstock and we're going to lay the dies on top of the adhesive sheets. So here you can see I've already run them through my die cutting machine. I'm going to remove the dies from the stickers and I want to make sure that I leave those sticker pieces inside of the negative because that's going to help me as I go to apply the glitter onto the paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the backing off of the stickers so that way I expose the adhesive. That's going to allow me to start applying the glitter to each snowflake. Now you can color these snowflakes all the same color, but I want to show you some of the different colors that we have of these Nouveau Pure Sheen glitters. So I'm going to be using a few different colors. Now you want to take the glitter and basically burnish it into the sticker sheet. This is going to help the sticker sheet hold on to that glitter and make sure it doesn't end up coming off later on. After I've burnished it into the sticker, I'm going to tap off any excess, and you can also take a dry cloth and rub over top of it just to get any more extra pieces off as well. Now I also want to try out the beautiful ice color. This one is like literally powdered sugar. Reminds me of snow as well. I think these would look awesome on creating winter snowy scenes and have the glitter be part of the snow. That would look really, really beautiful. So I'm going to do the same thing and burnish that glitter right into the sticker until I have that sticker covered with the glitter. I'll tap off the excess again, and then I'll move on to the last snowflake, which I'll be using this beautiful light blue color. This one has almost of an iridescent look to it. It looks very opaque when you apply it down, but after you've tapped off the excess and burnished it into the sticker, it has a very pale iridescent color. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to take a dry cloth here and now you can see I'm just going to burnish this over top of the glitter just to make sure I get off any excess pieces. And there you can see we have our snowflakes all beautifully die cut and all I have to do is pop them out of the sticker sheet. These sticker sheets do die cut very easily and they pop out very easily as well. I'm just being careful to make sure I don't end up ripping these snowflakes because they are a little bit on the more delicate side. So here's a look at the snowflakes, all die cut and ready to go. You can see you can layer these up to create a really gorgeous embellishment. And I really love how beautiful these glitters are. And also how they match up so well 
that you can create some really beautiful embellishments using just glitter. Now there's also another way that you can do this if you don't have the sticker sheets. You could use liquid glue to apply down onto your cardstock. I'm taking these snowflakes from white cardstock, I've already die cut them, and now I'm going to take some craft tacky glue. This is from Tonic as well. This is one of their adhesive products. And I'm going to actually remove the fine tip nozzle, but you could use that to apply glue into detailed areas. The tip is very, very fine. I'm just going to go ahead and squirt a good dollop of it onto the side of my scratch paper, and I'm going to use my finger to rub the glue over top of the snowflake. Now you want to make sure you get a good layer of glue over top of these snowflakes because the more glue you have, the better that the glitter will adhere onto your die cut. If you have very little glue, the glitter is not going to adhere onto your die cut as easily and you'll end up having some of it wear off. So I'm going to remove that die cut from the scrap paper that I had there and I'll take some of the glitter and sprinkle this over top of my die cut. I'm using a coffee filter to hold my glitter. That's a good container to make sure that you kind of can keep the glitter contained because glitter can fly everywhere. I'll just carefully remove the dye from the coffee filter and you can see that gorgeous glitter that we have. That blue is just stunning. I want to make sure I let this die cut dry very well before I go ahead to move on to assembling any of these pieces together. When you're using the liquid glue, you're going to want to remember to do that and make sure that you allow your die cut pieces to dry. When you use the sticker sheets, you don't have to have any dry time. So definitely keep that in mind if you're doing a project that you're going to want to create these embellishments, you're going to want to give yourself time to let these dry. So I'm repeating this process by applying the glue and covering the die cut snowflakes with the glitter using different colors just like I did for the first round. And the result are these really stunning embellishments that are perfect for adding onto your cards. The glitter adds just that perfect bit of bang onto the die cuts that really dresses them up. So a second technique I'm going to be sharing is a glitter background. This is very easy to do and I created this entire background using just glitter, a stencil, and translucent embossing paste. I'm using Wendy Vecchi clear embossing paste but you could use any type of embossing paste that you have on hand. The stencil I'm using is from Echo Park. It's a beautiful kind of snowflake or flower pattern. It's really, really pretty. I'm just going to take the paste and I'm going to use my palette knife to scoop out a good little dollop of it. Now I'm going to end up needing more than this as I apply this onto my paper because I'm trying to cover an entire card base. So I'm just going to carefully add the paste onto my paper that's covered with my stencil. I have it taped down onto my card base to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And I'll just keep applying the paste onto the stencil until I have it completely covered. Now one thing to keep in mind when you're applying the paste, you're going to want to make sure that you basically frost the paper very smoothly. You want the paste to be very smooth across your paper. And be careful as you're applying it through the stencil, depending on how delicate your stencil may be. I ended up having a little bit of a smudge on the bottom corner when I went to take it off. You can see here I'll remove the stencil. I ended up smudging the bottom portion of the card a little bit, but I just applied a bit of glue to the paper in the area where I had smudged it to kind of fix it up a little bit, and then I was able to apply glitter back over top of it. So I'm going to apply my glitter, and in this particular case, I'm going to be creating an ombre of color. So I'm going to apply my first layer of glitter onto the top portion of my card. I'm going to apply the next color of gold, and this is a pretty much a pure gold color. I really think these colors look really stunning together. So I'm going to cover the paper with this one as well, covering that in the center area. And it's okay to cover glitter over top of each other like I'm doing here where I'm applying the gold over top of the colors that we've already applied down. And that's because we've already applied glitter to the other areas of this card, so the glue is already covered and it's not really picking up that extra glitter color that we're applying down. So once I've added all the different glitter colors onto my cardstock, you can see this gorgeous effect. Absolutely beautiful. Now this needs to dry for quite a bit of time. And I ended up letting it sit overnight because it's a very thick amount of mossing paste that we've applied down and it's very large so it does take quite a bit of time. Now here's another panel that I created using that same technique except this time I used a blue glitter on top of blue cardstock. So it creates a kind of a tone on tone technique. It's really really pretty. So be sure to keep the dry time in mind as you're working with these projects. Because you're using wet mediums as the bonding piece for the glitter, they're going to take time to dry. Another way that's really fun and also a bit quicker way to add glitter onto your projects 
is to use glue and create little accent areas of glitter. I did that for this cardinal here, which I had stamped onto some white cardstock. This is a color layering stamp from Hero Arts, and I absolutely love how detailed this image is. I wanted to add some shimmer to it with the glitter, so I took a bit of liquid glue and I put it onto a little scrap of a non-stick sheet that I had here. I want to take a paintbrush. This is dry, and you're going to want to use a paintbrush that you don't use for actually painting. You want to use a paintbrush that you're not going to be using for any artwork. So I'm going to apply the glue onto my bird, carefully tapping it over top of the areas that I want to, and brushing it on to create a layer of glue that I'll be able to sprinkle glitter onto. This is an easy way to add accents of this loose glitter onto your projects, and applying it with the paintbrush allows you to have a little bit more control rather than if you were applying it with a glue bottle. Now I'm going to be using the black color first for the area around the bird's beak. This black color is stunning because it has other colors mixed into the black. It is really, really beautiful. Here you can see the shimmer that this bird has with that area around his beak. I'm also going to add some of that same glitter, but this time in red, onto his feathers. I'm applying the glue just like I did for the area around his beak and just carefully brushing some on, dabbing and basically covering areas of the wet feathers with the glue. And that's going to create a wet area for my glitter to adhere to. I'll sprinkle that on, tap off the excess, and then once I have the excess tapped off, you can see the stunning effect that the glitter has on this stamped image. So that's another great way that you can apply glitter onto your projects very simply and easily. This did not take long to dry. It only took probably about an hour for the glue to fully dry because, again, we didn't add a very thick coat of it. This is just areas of glue that we're able to dry pretty quickly. For this particular project, I use PPA Matte Adhesive, but I have tried it with other glues as well, such as the Tacky Glue from Tonic, and I've also tried it with Glossy Accents and Ranger Multi Matte Medium. All of those glues work perfectly with this glitter. Now another way to add glitter onto your projects is to add it with accent dots. And this is really easy because all we're doing is going to drop glue from our glue bottle onto our project. I'm also going to show you how I use the Nouveau Crystal Drops as well to be able to adhere my glitter onto. First I'm going to use the glue. I'm going to take my PPA Matte Adhesive and cover up these dots which I have stamped with an Hero Arts background stamp. I'm being very random with the placement of the glue and I'm going to take some of the glitter and sprinkle it on over top of the drops of glue that we've applied down. Once I've tapped off the excess, I'll move on to adding more drops of glue, this time further up the card. I want to do this in different colors, so I'm going to be doing this in stages. So I'll have one area be one color of glitter, the middle area will have a different color of glitter, and then the top area will also have a third color of glitter. If you want to do this in just one color, you could definitely just apply all your dots at once and then go ahead and apply the glitter all at once. But because I'm doing it in different colors, I'm going to have to do it in stages, just like I did for the ombre background. So I applied the second layer of glitter, and now I'm moving on to the third, just carefully applying the drops onto the paper, and then I'll go ahead and take my third color of glitter and apply it onto the card. Now I also want to add some silver glitter, and I also wanted to show you that you can also apply the glitter onto Nouveau Crystal Drops, because the drops are a wet medium, just like glue and paste, and the glitter will end up adhering to the drops because it's wet, so it's basically acting like an adhesive. So I'm applying the Nouveau Drops onto the paper, then I'm going to take some silver glitter and I'll apply this right over top of those little dots. And there you can see how the glitter adhered onto those silver drops. These glitters are super, super glittery and I love how much shimmer it adds to your projects. They are really, really stunning. So I hope that has given you some inspiration on how to use the Nouveau Pure Sheen glitters. Again, there are so many ways that you could use these glitters, and this is just tip of the iceberg on the techniques that you could create with these glitters. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below, and head on over to the Simon Says Stamp blog where you can get more information on the Tonic Nouveau line. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.